we have here a really nice used vehicle it's now six years old first registered in November 2014 well sorry actually it's even just gone five years old to be quite honest 2020 now and it's 750 uh, centimeters long 240 wide 306 high this is the silver dream s700 it's on a Mercedes uh, Benz a uh, three and a half ton basis uh, just over 60,000 uh, kilometers on the clock 163 horsepower bad news is 95,000 euros now you may think that's a lot of money for a used van well maybe it is but let's have a look at it before you make such st uh, statements Okay, these things, obviously old vehicles lose value, but these ones are, I thought, less so. Now, uh, if you are interested in buying this or any other used vehicle that I show, please bear in mind, I, do, I am not a used vehicle salesperson. I do videos on YouTube about van life. So I'm offering this as a sort of a service to others if you are interested you need not to contact me but the person who's doing the sale you also need to contact somebody to do a habitation check for you to check that everything in the motorhome is working correctly uh, you also obviously it's a used vehicle as you would do with any used vehicle you need to have uh, the me mechanic look at it as well I don't know how much either of those two things cost in Germany if anybody of course any mechanics or any habitation check people in Germany want to offer their services there's a comment section below and I will pin it uh, so uh, pin the comment right um, so that I'm going to get that one clearly out of the way silver dream um have three things which i'd like to comment about the bear over the uh, uh cabin they've got this profiling of the furniture and most important of all it's a monocoque it's a single shell it shouldn't leak it's not like uh, you get with for example uh most motor homes the walls are just glued together this is one piece. In fact, the one piece is attached to the Mercedes bit at the front, so it's a, it's a semi-integrated, if you like. Uh, there are companies also do fully integrated um, single-shell monocoque vans. So something like this new, yes, um, I mean, I, I don't quite know how to compare the equipment uh, package here. But I think, uh, I think you're probably looking at around 130 plus. It's hard because of the equipment package, I don't really know how I can compare them. Up here we've got the uh, ventilation. All on lightweight materials. Can of course see uh, some new silver dreams, and uh, which I have filmed during my time here. And uh, I can, this is just the south of uh, Stuttgart. It's about 15 kilometres from where the airport is in uh, Stuttgart. 
and as you can hear, the motorway is right close to the, right next to the motorway. Although, by uh, to be quite uh, fair, um, I'm, I would have to state that the motorway uh, it's about three kilometres from here. By the time you've gone off the exit and come back that round again, even though it's directly next to it uh, in sound. So I started filming, my first year of filming vans was, uh, first vans I filmed was, I was at um, Stuttgart, I started Dusseldorf in August of 2012. So you can see my first ever vans They're on my uh, in internet site, my YouTube site. Okay, so this thing here comes up and down and uh, it comes easily. I'm trying to avoid the clunk at the end. Okay, that would, <laughs> I'm only using one hand. I've got a second hand on the uh, uh, camera. Uh, window up there, which uh, would uh, hopefully stop it getting too uh, stuffy and allow for air circulation during the um, the summer. Why well, have it during the winter as well? But uh, I don't think it's needed. <laughs> when the bed is up, you've got plenty of space. Uh, around uh, the, the the chairs here, so, so you mean you've got plenty. Not only when you're driving, you might want to, you might want the feeling uh, that you've got space above you. But when you're around the table as well, you turn the chairs around, so you've got plenty of space around there as well. And I mentioned the uh, profiling, so let's have another look at it here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you who to contact should you be interested. And then I'll show you a little, take a quick look at one or two of the other vans from the outside, which are available for purchase, used vans. Here is the contact details. Sorry, I haven't got the contact details on this one. I'm going to have to go to another van. You've got the price. 95,000, you've got the, uh, uh, what it is, uh, Silver Dream S700. Okay, take it to the contact details. Now you need to contact the seller, not me. Huh? Right, good, here we go. There you are. I hope this is coming out. Yeah, Vanna Fried Site GmbH, telephone number, plus 497021. 9802022227. So again, plus four nine seven zero two one nine eight zero two zero two seven. Email there. Uh, Vanna Fried Site GmbH at mobile de. Internet home dot mobile dot de slash classic center tech t e c k. Right. Uh, I'll try and put the links on if I remember, which I could well forget to put on. That's happened before, and you can see they've got uh, these uh, other vehicles as well, which are available. And you can see them in other videos. Indeed, so you can see videos of a lot of new ones as well on the bottom down there. That's where I'm parked. So, and there's the motorway. So, uh, if you found that of interest, I hope that you will uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And so I've got lots of films from traveling around Germany. This is a new idea, which I'm hoping, which I might actually, if there's any interest, I might actually start doing it there. Um, more often, uh, I admit. Whereas I said, look, I'm, I'm, I've got no benefit from the sale. I uh, certainly haven't in this case. But uh, if there's enough interest, maybe I will start thinking about showing vans from other places on a, uh, a regular basis. And uh, and in that case, uh, there may be some interest if I can, if I can persuade them to actually sort of give me some money. But first of all, we've got to do it as a test to see if it works. 
and uh, I could of course show uh, vehicles from uh, around Germany Netherlands Belgium sort of the, maybe even Austria places I can get to uh, relatively easy thanks very much for watching